Oh, really, folks, what the crash? How are you? How is things? Um, just wanted to make a quick video here because I haven't made a video here on months on YouTube. I think November was the last time that I made my last video. Um, the main reason was I was basically pissed off at YouTube, the whole Google Plus taking over and shit like that. But I am still pissed off about it, but we're still fucking. I'm in the room for making a video now, so I'm going to make one because fucking why not? So I decided to make a video about the soil cop movies here because I hardly ever hear these movies that I'm talking about on YouTube like and uh, in my opinion they're really great foreign movies but uh, don't get me wrong they're, they're not brilliant movies they're not brilliant they're actually they're still like that but I just love the fucking movies like I never get tired watching these movies and they have great rewatch value so I just want to do a quick video on talking about them don't, it's not going to be in depth reviews or anything, stuff like that. I just want to talk about them for a few, a few minutes. Like, so, here it is. We talking about the Soyo Cop movies. Yeah, anyway, the reason I want to do this video because I recently picked up the first Soyo Cop movie here on DVD. Got it for like two euros off Amazon. And I just want to upgrade from my VHS there. Well, I much prefer the L. Uh, that's the uh, DVD cover there. I much prefer the old original VHS extra angle cover there as well. Compared to the uh, DVD cover. And here's the second one. It's Sugar Cup of Tunes. He's just called Sugar Cup Tune, the size. I wanted to pick that up on DVD as well, but he's like 20 euros off Amazon. And I'm not willing to pay that price. And the VHS will do it until they can come across it for a good price. Because the DVD is just bare bones. It must be out of print or something. That must be cost so much money. And anyway, I'm showing that myself here. I just want to talk about them. They're not good movies, but I fucking love them. The acting isn't very good. <laughs> and most mainstream fans would think they're a lot of fucking shit. They do have a cult following. I reckon a lot of the horror guys on here would like them if you've seen them. Or if you haven't seen them as well. Like, so, I said, I'll talk about them here for a couple of minutes. So anyway here, I'll start off with Psycho Cop 1 here, or the first Psycho Cop, we all hear it with the VHS artwork because it's much better than the DVD fucking there. It was made in 1989 and it's directed by Wallace Potts, as far as I know he's never directed anything else. Uh, it stars uh, Bobby Ray Schaffer as a Psycho Cop, in my opinion he does a great fucking job and he's He's the only half decent actor in the thing, in my opinion. But again, as I said, acting isn't supposed to be good in this fucking point of movie like this. It's cheesy, it's fun. It's just so bad, it's good, in my opinion. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It starts Bobby Ray Shaffer as the Thrill Cop, or obviously our Joe Fickers is his real fucking name, I suppose. Actually, it's about a bunch of college kids that fucking. Uh, Rent out a villa or a mansion or some stuff like that for, them, for the weekend and it's in the middle of nowhere and it's surrounded by woods and stuff like that. Acting is really bad for the most part but as far as the actors go, apart from Bobby Ray Shepherd there, I don't think any of them, I haven't seen any of them, anything else. I think as far as I remember what I read, most of them are just friends with the, the, the director or something like that and they just did it for a favour to him. I think the whole movie was really in a fucking road in three days or something and it only took them uh, two weeks to sh shoot the whole movie so as far as that goes I think they did a pretty goddamn job, job of it the acting is terrible if I don't get me wrong it is terrible but it's still a really enjoyable movie fucking Bobby Ray Shaffer is brilliant as Sawyer Cop or the Officer Joe Fickers some of his more lines are just fucking great and he plays the role really well in my opinion So yeah, so that's what I'm saying. Just fucking cheesy fun. You can't go wrong with it. It's a really good time, in my opinion. Once you take it for what it is. So now I'll just talk about the second one here for a minute. This one was made in uh, 1993, I believe. Looks at artwork as well. Let's wrap it. Good old fucking fetch. That's excellent. You can't beat them. Yeah, this one was directed by. Uh, Adam Rifkin, I think his name was, and he actually did a few things after this. He went on to direct The Chase with uh, Charlie Sheen and uh, Christy Swanson, which is actually a really good movie that I enjoy. And he went on to uh, direct the Detroit Rock City as well as a 
one of my favourite fucking teen comedies ever. I love it. It's a really good fucking movie and it features the band Kiss. So it's a mixture of rock and roll and comedy. So you, if you're into that stuff, you can't go wrong with it. I well recommend checking out fucking rap in my opinion. And anyway, I write Shaffer Returns in the main role as the Psycho Cop or Officer Joel Fickers. I think he's even better in this one than he was in the first Psycho Cop movie. The one liners are better, I think his acting is better, and I think he just knows the character better in this one, if you know what I'm saying. And then, um, what's I gonna say? Fucking, I lost my train of thought. Yeah, he knows the character and all stuff like that in this bear, and fucking, this one here, there's not really many actors that you'll recognize. There, a few of them have done some other stuff, but you wouldn't recognize them when I was gonna mention stuff. But the acting is slightly better in this one. And it isn't the first Psycho Cop movie. Not much, I'll tell you, but it is a bit better. It has uh, a former penthouse perfier, I believe, and uh, Julie Strand, I think her name was. I think she was a penthouse perfier in 1993. There's a fair amount of boobies and fucking uh, boobies and riding and stuff like that, and this, so you can't go wrong there. That is. Mostly better, apart from the guy who plays Brian, I can't think of his name, but I tell you man, he's a really fucking nice, the worst, baddest over actor ever, like, but, it's just, if you're taking good fun, you really enjoy the flick, like, in my opinion. Anyway, that's all I wanted to talk about this, these movies for a few minutes, like, not an in-depth review or anything, there's some crap in an in-depth review, but, I just wanted to talk about the Super Hot movies, because I love them, they're so bad, they're fucking good. The one liners in them are fucking brilliant in my opinion. And Bobby Ray Shaffer makes them. The one liners that he pulls off are fucking brilliant. As I far to say, the kills are much more better in a sort of couple of tones than they are in the first one as well. There's some good fucking uh, kills and a, a little bit of good guard in their tones as well. There's some half decent uh, kills in the first one as well, but anyway, I'm showing sure it out of me so. Just a sort of video on the Super Hot Movies, I haven't a video in ages. I guess I'll comment if you want. Talk to you.